Hey guys, it's Kali K. Ozora's World. This is a video I've been wanting to do for like two to three weeks and I've kind of just not got around to it. So now I'm doing it. We're going to do video talking about neon cartoon monster merch. What people call, that's what people call it nowadays apparently. So before I get into that though, I want to say rest in peace to one of my all-time favorite vocalists, Jordan Blake. Formerly of a Skylet Drive, watch out there's ghosts, trances, he did some solo stuff as well, to name a few things. He was just an awesome vocalist, and it's a very, very heartbreaking loss. And you know, my heart goes out to his family, his friends, everybody involved, man. With that being said, I want to shout out Ride or Die Clothing. I believe they're still active. Last I checked, their merch site was still active. I believe they started doing this around 2020 or so. I think I got this design late 2020. This is the, I think it's the, I call it the ice cream attack. I really love the color, the design. I have one more ride or die clothing shirt. And I've considered getting one more. There's actually two I like. There's this gold foil one and... There's this other one. I can't remember the design name. Sorry. But this is my favorite one. I love the the design. It's really cool. These shirts are so cool. Just really, really amazing design. And, you know, if you're looking for newer, if they want to call it seeing clothing, you know, you should probably check this out. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. So... That's going to be my uh, first thing I show here. Alright, next up we have the Attack Attack Zombie Scene Girl design. Very nostalgic, incredible design. I remember first seeing this around 2011 or so and wanting this so badly. And the one I originally got in 2013 ended up being too small. So, you know, got rid of it. Then... Miraculously, on merch now, it was in my size and I got it in like 2019 and I've had it ever since. This is a incredible design. And you know, it's a toss-up between this one and another one you might see. Because Attack Attack made some of the most incredible designs. The Devil Wears Prada as well, asking. There's a lot of bands that come to mind. Anyway, incredible design. Love the scene hair, the comb, the zombie, the Attack Attack logo. Normally, I like my band logos being more up here, but this is an, this is an exception I'll make. This shirt is incredible. This one is an absolute grail and very and, and rare. I mean, I have not seen this one around this was the first time I'd ever saw this design when I got it. And I paid only 11 bucks for it. Now, if you know, this kind of merch is, is going up there. They'll sell for 40, 50 bucks a shirt. It's crazy. Really cool design. Love how, love how the Bring Me the Horizon logo looks. Just really cool. Great color. Very unique design. Very different. Awesome. By far my favorite Bring Me to Horizon shirt. By far. Easily. This is a classic. Now the Bring Me to Horizon shirt I got in 2021, if I didn't already say that. This shirt I got in Hot Topic when they sold all that merch in, tw in 2010. I was 14 going on 15 at the time. And you know, Devil Wars Prada, loved their music, saw this shirt, had to get it. For how long I've had it and how much I've worn it, it has really held up really well. Incredible design. And you know, I think this one's a, a darker gray than a lot of the ones I see. Maybe it's just me, but this is... Like a lot of the ones I see people have, it's, it's like a lighter gray, but this one's darker. So, is this rare? I don't know, but I got it at Hot Topic. So, yeah. This may be, this is one of my all-time favorites right here. Incredible design, incredible band. It just takes me back, man. And it is amazing how well this shirt has held up. And let me tell you, 
People say, oh, I bet it would have been great to, to be in 2010 when all this band merch was being sold. It's just as great as it sounded. Like going in there, seeing the bracelets, the studded belts. Hot Topic even sold Vans and Converse back then. I got my red and black original pair of Vans from there. In 2010, as I was uh, getting ready for school and shit. And dude, Hot Topic was incredible back then. Now they're bringing some of that stuff back, but it's hardly in stock. I mean, every time I look, it's like out of stock, out of stock. It's like, the fuck? <laughs> then why do you have it on there as if it is? It's like, it's really annoying, but... This was an incredible era. Really incredible. Awesome. We got a panda design with uh, hearts. He's got a guitar. Really cool. He looks like he's got vampire fangs. That's really cool. Sky Eats Airplane. Again, one of the rare times I'll make an exception where the band logo is right there. I prefer it being up there. It usually bothers the crap out of me, but I make an exception for sh certain shirts. Sky's Airplane was a really good band. I liked them better with Brack on vocals as opposed to Jerry, but the Jerry era was nice. There's that dinosaur shirt that I really have wanted for years, ever since it came out in, like, what, 2010 or something, that Hot Topic? And I could never find it in my size. Sky's Airplane, man. Good band, very underrated. It's weird. Every time I see a panda... You know, if anybody remembers the fucking KRP days, it takes me back, man. The Cow Rainbow Panda days were, were something else, dude. It's crazy to see how far I've come as, like, like, a person and how much I've changed, man. Really cool to see. I always get nostalgic whenever I look at stuff with pandas. It always takes me back. There was some fun in that, and there was some drama, man. You know? There's good and bad that comes with uh, growing up in the scene era when it was really popping. Which some people say there's a revival and, and all that, but bro, I don't see anybody with the hair ever. At least in my area. Now I did get a lot of compliments on the shirts I wore when I was in Florida like a couple of years back, but that's it, man. But in my area, nobody really dresses like that, as far as I know, anymore, hardly. Anyway, Sky Eats Airplane, cool band. Nostalgic, awesome, cool design. Pandas are still cool, by the way. I still like pandas. I still like pandas. I still got love for pandas. Hey, KRP is forever, man. I might not go by the name, but it's always going to be... A part of my of my journey, you know, my, my history, I guess, man. And, you know, to all the people who showed me love and positivity then, I appreciate it. And to the people showing me love now, I appreciate you. But, man, if you've been there since the KRP days, you're a true OG. Anyway, we on to the next one. Moving on to an amazing metalcore band, The Air I Breathe, extremely underrated. I thought they were going to come back and release an album. They released a comeback single, but they never released a full-length album. So that's sad, but at least we got a new single out of it. They sounded really good, by the way. Cool little logo. You got some, like, pills, I suppose. <laughs> got like, a scene-looking girl with poison, and she's poisoning this dude, apparently. I don't know what, what, what he did. Maybe she's just some evil woman who wants to poison guys for fun. Who knows? There's this top-secret thing. Maybe she didn't want him to know the secret. I don't know. But a uh, pretty cool little design. Love the color. They also had this in black and in gray. If I remember correctly, I think they had it in gray as well. And I think they still have it on the merch site. Come to think of it, it'd be pretty cool to get another color of this. But yeah, man, the air I breathe, really underrated. If anyone else knows them besides me feel free to comment that below oh by the way if you guys are, are listening to air i breathe repress great faith in fools on vinyl do it just 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 do it 
I set my friends on fire. This was another design that I wanted for some time. Quite, like two to three, four years, something like that, whenever this came out. I guess, I have no idea. Maybe 2010? I'm just going to take a wild guess. It could have been 09. Incredible design. Has the narhal with the fucking guts and shit. Pink guts right there. Really sick design, man. This is this is incredible. The color is really good. I got this on eBay in 2014 for a little over 10 bucks. Back when they weren't going for 40, 50 bucks a pop. Boy, those were the days. That's that's the thing about revival. It makes this stuff go up, which is like, come on, man. <laughs> it sucks, but it is what it is. Anyway, man. I said my friends on fire are really good. You can't spell slaughter without laughter. Classic album. I've listened to that a bazillion times. Had a lot of songs on my MySpace profile. It really takes me back, man. You know, the 2010 summer was really incredible. Honestly, it was, it was there was just so much fun, so much more things to explore, you know, so much more music to find out. Like that was the feeling, man. That that was the beauty of being fairly new into this style. I mean, I wasn't really old, but... Or I wasn't really, really new, new, but I wasn't really old either, you know? So, that was exciting, man. Finally perfecting the hair, getting the style, you know? Like, oh, man, it's just all that excitement. I remember getting a CD at FYE back when it was still open, man. I can't remember exactly. I think I got it before my 15th birthday. I remember I got stand up and scream on my 15th birthday too. I'm, I'm <laughs> I went to see the Backstreet Boys with my mom and shit at Wild Adventures. I got I think I got a Black Veil Bride shirt and an Escape the Fate shirt and an Escape the Fate bracelet. Man, it just all these nostalgic times just take me back, dude. And that's really what it's about, man. It's about fun. At least that's how I see it, bro. Oh yeah. We got a white chapel. Bang your head, raise the dead shirt. This is the front design. We got a guy putting up the metal horns. Decapitated. There's all the severed heads right there. Really fascinating design, truthfully. Classic white chapel logo right there. They also have this in, they had this in yellow, and I think they might have had it in gray. If anyone else knows what other colors they had it in, please let me know. But I do know they had it in yellow, and I believe they had it in gray. And I would love to have the yellow one. It would be an incredible piece to have. I got this at, uh, in 2015, found it on eBay, had to have it. I'm a fan of old school deathcore. I'm not really into the new shit. I'm an old school kind of guy, you know. Bang your head, raise the dead. Really cool design. Incredible. Whitechapel was the shit back when they were uh, MySpace Deathcore, man. So I'm at it Defilement. This is Exile. Uh, man, dude, those are golden Deathcore albums. MySpace Deathcore for the win. Fun fact. Danny Warsnop wore this shirt in an Ask Alexandria photo shoot in 2009. Also, does anyone remember Brandon Bulmer being in the band? Really good post-hardcore band. Would recommend. I wish they would get back together, to be honest. They did make another album with Craig after Brandon left, which wasn't bad, believe it or not. But... Yeah, Illuminato was special. Not my favorite. I mean, All's Well, Ends Well is pretty, probably my favorite, period. You know, but... I don't know. I remember getting Illuminato when it first comes out, and every time I listen to those songs, they take me back to high school. Here's a Drop Dead Gorgeous shirt. A lot of eyeballs and a monster thingy. Really cool looking. Fun fact. James Cassells wore this shirt also in a photo shoot while Danny was wearing the Chiodos shirt. Really hope I pronounced their band name right, but if I didn't, it is what it is. 
I got this around, what, 2016 or something like that. I've been wanting it for forever. I found it on eBay and blah, blah, blah. I got it. There will be one more. There will be the grand finale. Be ready. It's not even about it being the best one, but if this one didn't make the video, it would just be a fucking shame. Get ready to crab core. Get ready to get down low. Attack, attack. Crab core shirt. This shirt's a classic. I've had it for damn near a decade now. I've worn it many a times, and it's holding up pretty doggone well. Attack, attack. It, when they were on their shit, it was one of the best bands, man. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video of me rambling and talking about band merch. I wanted to do a video like this. I might do another one talking about it. We'll see. I want to really do some like stuff that's considered emo or scene nostalgia. Nostalgia in general, like nostalgic stuff from the 2000s, anything like that, early 2010s. I think that would be fun. And I'm still going to do some of my stuff I normally do, but until next time, crab hard, crab core for life.